The great plates of the Earth's crust are always moving, shifting, colliding, and breaking apart. Earthquakes remind us the continents are shifting and have been since the beginning of time. Hundreds of millions of years ago, the land we call home sat at the bottom of the world. As we move forward in time to the Ordovician period, 450 million years ago, our part of the Earth's crust migrated from the bottom of the world up to the equator. During this time, a warm, shallow sea covered part of the land. It is here, in the Ordovician Sea, that our story begins. This was a time when plants were only first appearing on land. But below the water, there was an explosion of life in the warm Ordovician Sea. Algae, seaweed, and sponges formed reefs. Sea lilies and jellyfish gleaned food from the rich tropical waters. Arthropods, animals without backbones, were abundant. Brachiopods, gastropods, cephalopods, trilobites, and corals. Most were shelled animals. Many were huge. Some were predators and some were prey. The shells of the creatures in the Ordovician Sea were rich in calcium. As the coral, snails, and other shelled creatures died, their remains broke into bits of calcium-rich sediment, making a limey mud on the seafloor. Over millions of years, sediment in the water drifted down. Some dead plants and animals were covered whole as layer upon layer buried them. The weight compressed the sediment together. As time passed, the sediment turned to a sedimentary rock, our limestone. Whole and partial shells became fossils, frozen in time. The mottled light and dark pattern of the limestone are burrows made by ancient animals in the soft seafloor mud, then filled with sediment. The Ordovician period saw an explosion of biodiversity, but it ended with a mass extinction, perhaps caused by global cooling. The plants and animals that made the Ordovician see their home have been transformed into limestone. They have left behind fossils to provide us clues to their life in the Ordovician Sea.